as we all know that the festival is you know soon going to come to an end but the excitement still continues and a part of that excitement was the screening of the children of war last evening as we all know that this film has been really in the news lately in the news not only in this is a film which goes back to a very important event in the history of the subcontinent that is the 1971 bangladesh turmoil and this film is making uh, news not only because of the event to which it is connected but also the way it has been produced yeah okay this yeah yeah okay so um the journey of the film started with us reading a book called memoirs of mujib Uh, which is on Sheikh Mujibur Rahman, who is the founding father of Bangladesh. Uh, thank you. Um, during his uh, uh, his struggle for independence and the people of Bangladesh and their struggle for independence, when we were researching, we came across a number of stories, a very a very large number a number of compelling human stories that we thought would be great to bring out to the audience, to the public, uh, and for them to see what actually happened back in seventy one. um it was a nine month uh, struggle that the people underwent uh, to cut off from pakistan and become bangladesh and that's what our film is essentially about it's about love it's about loss it's about struggle it's about gaining independence and freedom um we have some great actors in the movie we have tilothma we have uh, riddhi sen we have farooq saab farooq sheikh uh, victor banerji uh pavan malhotra raima sen you know so it makes it makes for a great ensemble cast and uh, uh, they have all performed exceedingly well uh, and tried to do their best in keeping the subject as honest as possible um the film has the film was released on 16th of may in india uh, and in bangladesh in bangladesh it ran for approximately 16 weeks which makes it the longest running film ever uh and is going to be re-released again on 12th of december in a coming uh, few weeks to mark their victory day so it's a uh, as as filmmakers and as a film crew i think it's a great honor for us to be associated to a country's uh, victory day uh, uh, which they are very proud about and um, i think in some ways you could equate it to the film gandhi for for us so um, uh, that's what happened there Uh, in europe uh, there was a member of parliament who saw the film and recommended all the other uh, members of the european parliament that you must watch this film and see what we turned a blind eye to back in 71 uh, and uh, we must support their cause now so you know a lot of things took place post the screening of this film which made us very very happy a lot of people wrote to the uh, uk house of commons and the us congress and to the united nations that please take note of this movie and please act uh you know and punish the war crime perpetrators <coughs> now it's relevant politically today uh because um uh because the trial or the uh, war crime system justice is still going on people are still looking for justice people are still fighting for it and uh, it's about time uh, you know they were served so so uh, that's what the movie is about that's what our uh, endeavor was about and um, uh, yet yeah, we're we're open to questions and everybody is here and you can ask us i, I would also request somia the producer of the movie to tell us about her experience uh well this is the first time i've ever produced a movie but uh, actually it was a great it was a great experience a great learning experience and um, i think i think we did quite well we without having any big studio support backing us we've managed to make a movie an independent film and release a film within <coughs> one year so i mean all independent filmmakers should continue and not give up just because they're struggling you can achieve it you can it's hard but it was fun it was great fun experience and uh, tilothma show mm-hmm. i would like her also to narrate her experience Yeah, just a couple. Um, <clears throat> thank you. So I was playing this character in the film called Bitika, and Bitika is one of the many women in the film who is in the rape camp and goes through unimaginable kind of atrocity, violence. Uh, rape is only a polite word 
for what those women went through. Um, also, I don't think uh, I have my uh, vocabulary in place to explain uh, the horrors that those women went through, uh, not just from the script that Mithunjay gave us to read, but also the general material available online. I mean, the more you read, the less you want to uh, even acknowledge it, because it's it, 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 uh, So I, I have just, uh, you know, two things to say. One is, Vitika, despite going through all this that I just shared, unimaginable. She still has the will in her to fight for freedom. And I asked myself, Ki I, we don't even go through any of these problems in life. We haven't gone through any such atrocity, any such violation. But how much energy do I have to fight for any sort of change? Bhitika, despite being repeatedly raped, those women, despite being repeatedly raped, went and fought for the freedom movement of Bangladesh on behalf of the Mukti Bahini. I asked myself, do I have that kind of courage that, uh, to fight for anything? Our generation doesn't fight for anything because we've got everything on the platter. You know? uh, many people <coughs> fought for our freedom. We enjoy it. We misuse it. And I think the other question that uh, you know, uh, it raised for me is the idea of justice. That when it comes to a personal level, we have many films made on revenge. Many films with the motive of, I'm going to fight for justice. Mere saath ye galat hua, mere behen ke saath ye hua, uh, aur mujhe badla chahiye. We know this. If it happens to you, you and your family, there's a certain feeling and emotion. But what happens to us when it happens to 600,000 people who are not our family? We just shut down. We turn a blind eye. I don't understand. Is this our way of coping with... Uh, the demon that probably exists within us, that when so many people are killed and brutalized, we don't do anything about it. One actor does something, it's in the news. One person who is of certain consequence, something happens to them, it's in the news, we cry. <coughs> and you know we shed tears but when there is such a collective genocide we shut eyes and that is the contradiction that mm, really haunt, haunted me through the you know working of this film it's, it's uh, also uh, it's unfortunate that it's happening even today yeah. the whole idea yeah. of the film like, like she was saying the whole idea of the film is to make Make the movie so that people understand from what what sort of mistakes we are capable of as uh, capable of as human beings, like what extent can we go to for power and what what you know. So uh, it's it's happening all over the world even today, and we need to watch and we need to learn and we you know take a lesson from history so that it doesn't repeat itself. Yeah. And uh, since it's a period film, we all know that uh, the other directors have also expressed that how challenging it is to create uh, the ambience of the period to which the film pertains, the costumes, the hairdos, the locations. So since we have the costume designer of the film with us, Amita, I think she would like to share her experience and the challenges that she faced in designing the costumes for the film. Hello. Good morning, everyone. Um, I must say that this film was a very challenging and demanding um, project for me. And uh, more so because, you see, uh, going through the script and working on the theme of the film, firstly, it was a period film. All the costumes had to fall in place with that time of 1971. Secondly, it was a depiction of struggle and pain. And every bit of costume that was designed re had to represent that pain and the struggle. You know, we had to develop uh, we have to keep those clothes on. Somebody has been wearing it for three weeks, for four weeks, six months. And that had to be shown throughout the film, that what kind of a transformation has taken place, what is the pain, the struggle that... Uh, that, was, that was very challenging for me. Uh, most films, we usually work on making them look very glamorous and beautiful. 
Um, and here it was just the opposite. We had to make them look really dreary and you know, show that people are going through some kind of misfortune. Um, and the most important part is that when you're working for a demanding, a very committed director, it helps you to bring out the most, uh, you know, detailed um, inputs into any kind of designing or any kind of uh, work that we put into this film. And that, I feel, was the main thing that um, I really, really enjoyed working on.